Everyone, we are at uh, Governor Nelson State Park out on the rock outcropping again. We got Devin with us today. We're going to be doing some catfishing and uh, maybe I'll throw the Wolf River, Wolf River rig out and see if we can get a pike. But uh, we'll see what happens. Water here is not very deep um, off, off the dock, but should be enough to get us a pretty good fish. It is a little bit higher than I remember it, but that's okay. It's going to be a little bit challenging. Definitely a little bit higher than I remember it. It's going to be a little bit challenging in order to uh, get the fish in because the water is higher and it's windy. I don't want to fall in and die. But um, I'm going to throw out this way for now at least. Ugh. Okay, that didn't work. All right, we got stuck in a tree branch there. That's fine. It's not quite what I expected. Uh, I think that's okay. And uh, we're hoping for a fish. Getting to mid-November and the water is very, very close to about 50 degrees. I'm not really sure if the cats are still here. Um, I might have better luck at Governor's Island today, but I already went there last week, so I'm not going there again today. But either way, I have two bottom baits out and then one wolf river rig with a worm. So that one, I'm hoping to get like something else. The other two, I'm hoping to get big cats. Let's see if we get them today. This is usually a good place, but it is really, really late in the year. So hopefully they're not out deep already. Guys, I think we just answered the question of they're, if they're here or not. I just need to get my pole out of this thing. Pretty sure that's a catfish. Yep, that's a catfish. Oh, that's a really big pike, but I'm pretty sure it's a cat. It's pulling pretty hard. They're here. They are here. I think it keeps on swimming towards me, but I know it's still on. They're here. Right before, right before it gets too dark too. Ah, last two or three days to get Mendota cats, is my guess. Falling below 50 very, very quickly on the water tap. See it coming up. Wait, is that even a cat? Seems kind of small for a cat. Yep, it's a cat. It's a smaller one though. I think it's a smaller one, I'm not 100% sure. Eh, nah, it's about regular size. Another catfish. Alright, how do I get it up? That's the real question. Ah. Ah, I wish I can extend it. Yeah, I mean, I, it's hard for me to... Watch out for the... It's slippery though. I got you. Yeah, it's slippery. Alright, landing this cat. All right, that was a shorter fight than usual. But definitely like, there we go. Devin's got it. I got it in. All right. 13.7, channel catfish. Very, very nice. Extremely windy, but a nice fish indeed. All right. I'm gonna let this catfish go on the rocks here. It's gonna be fine. Calm down, catfish. There you go. Flop. And it goes. I think it's a little bit confused, but uh, yeah, there you go. Channel catfish. Actually, it's right there. It just came in between the rocks and it's kind of stuck here now. So we're going to have to get it out into the water. There you go. It stopped swimming in the rocks. All right, it's turning around. Catfish is struggling. It's wavy. There you go. There you go. Catfish in the water. See ya. So yes, folks, they still do come shallow. Enough for me to catch. It's just that the wind, sorry about the sound, the wind is just so hard right now that the, uh, the, the, the wind protector that I kind of rigged together isn't working all that well. So yeah, let's toss it back out there and hopefully get another big fish. Hopefully bigger one than that. But that one's okay. 12 pounds. It's definitely a little bit more stunted than the other ones I've caught lately. There we go. That's good. Alright, I think I got another one. 
Uh, they're hitting pretty well tonight. Tim, you all reel this one in. It actually might be the same one that got away a while ago, but this one's hooked on tighter. That one... Yeah, I don't, it might not be a catfish if it jumped. But the, the water is really rough, and it does feel like the weight to be a small cat. It could be a pike, though. But a pike shouldn't have been able to do that. Do that. It's not taking too long to reel these guys in. Oh, it's definitely a catfish. It's a, all these are, the, the ones today are slightly smaller, though. But that one looks bigger than the other one. That one actually looks a little bit bigger than the other one. Take a look. Yeah. That's so, so good to fish with some other people because it takes forever. Yeah, that one's definitely slightly bigger. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's actually like line markings across the fish, which means he's got caught up in line and he's been caught by someone else before. So, another big channel. The rough waters, no problem for gato fish. They're biting pretty good tonight. The second one, they're not putting as much of a fight though um, as they usually do. I don't know why that is, but we're gonna just launch this one at the beach this time. He feels the water. He feels the gato-ish water. There you go. Tough life, catfish, tough life. I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of like trying to get over, but I think I might need the net to help him. Uh, yeah, just a second. It's a pretty shallow area at the beach. I think I just need to get him to go further in in the water and then he can go off. Okay, I need to expand. I think he's going. I need to. A... Yeah, he's gone now. He's gone. He's gone. He goes, he goes, he goes, he goes. There it is. Channel catfish, he's finally gotten off. All right, see ya catfish, see ya. All right, I got a big sucker head now on my pole. Trying to launch her out as far as I can from this rock down here. The wind just really, really got me out of shaker because like, blowing my cat it's definitely blowing my cast off and it does seem like tonight you need to get it way out there that should be good enough i'm not going to be able to get it out of the way anyways all right let's see if i see still got it they're all out there they are all out there today but i did actually lose the bell which i'm not happy about i think it's still down there but i'm not sure can't lose the green bell. I'll well, just buy some more, but whatever. Oh, this one's a good fighter. So windy today. So so windy. Today. Hope you guys can still hear it over the wind. Devin got one. Devin got one. You got it? Oh, really? That's weird. Oh. Oh, did you, start, did you not set the dragon? Uh, I thought I did. Oh my goodness, so huge. That, this one's a little bigger, definitely. Alright, alright. 
the water is really rough. Let me get in. After this, I'm gonna try to find the bell. <laughs> All right. 15.8, getting a little bit larger each time. 15.8 pounds. All right, let's put this back in the water on the bay here. We'll push it in via the net. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of tough to get in. All right, we've gotten the fish in deep enough where he's just kind of can swimming in by himself. He's swimming over there though, so he's getting a little bit confused. Today has been a really nice day for cats. Oh, oh geez. All right, he's finally going off. He is finally going off into the water. These take a while when I let them go over here because the water is very shallow over here. So they have a little bit of a rough time, but they eventually get it. Devin's got one. Devin's got one. Got it? Oh yeah, nice. Let me get the net. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Net expansion. Net expansion. Let's see if you get it close enough to get down and get it. Oh, that's good. That's, is that a, is that, oh, that's definitely a cat. Yeah, let me, let me to somehow get down there. Make sure it doesn't cut on the rock. No, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. We got it. We, oh yeah, that's a fat one. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's like a 16, 17 pounder. Maybe the biggest one for tonight. Nice fish. All right, that's a 17, point, 17 pound catfish. Biggest one for the night, man. 17 pound catfish, crazy. We're letting them go down there. See the fish, Devin over there, just Rocking him in the water there. Just trying to get the fish catfish out without hurting them too much. There you go. There it is. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. It's a little bit stuck in the rocks, but he's right there. He's good. He's good. Getting it out there. Getting it out there. They bite really hard tonight, but we're going home like in a little while. It's too windy. It's getting really cold. Plus, we already got like four fish today. But this might be one, if one of the last, if not the last, Lake Mendota Catholic in the year because it's getting the water, the water temperature is getting way too cold, and it's so cold. Yeah, it's tough. One more, and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. This might be the last fish we have for today, but it's a big one. I'm gonna go get the net. Get that guy in. Almost took the pole. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh man, that came out. <laughs> Glad I grabbed that. I lost the Oh, yeah. There you go. That's a good one. I don't think it's as big as the other one, but well, it might be. Alright, let me go down to get it. Alright. All right, fish. Yeah, it's smaller than the other one. I don't know, maybe it's not. Oh, it is? Oh. Here, here. Yeah, take that, take that. Oh my god, mine just went insane. Okay, I just lost the bell. Again. Well, that's fine. I can probably just find it again sometimes. I'm glad I got mine went in so much this is like it, there's so many big catfish tonight it's crazy, crazy. 
absolutely insane. All right, this is gonna be the last fish that I'm not throwing this back out tonight. It's too much wind, and I can't do I can't just I can't do any more tonight. Too too darn windy. That's a good catfish too. Oh, so many tonight. So many. I think I got like six all together tonight. Alright. Got the net back. Got the net back. Alright, alright, alright. It's a good oh that's a big one too. Nope, that's, that didn't go. I didn't know, that was you. Oh. Come on, come here. That's a good one too. Oh, there's the double up. 15.8 on both fish. Very, very nice. I think that's gonna do it for tonight. Gotta go find the bow. So uh, yeah, six big catfish tonight. All right, two big catfish let go the water we're just going to use the net to push because they are uh we extend it we've got the extendo there that one is going to go straight in and it's going to go straight out this one is also going to go straight in let's get it off the beach and yeah there it goes there it goes i think it's having a little bit of trouble there but uh, but i think it'll oh that's a stick that one's like swimming sideways, but I think it's good enough. I mean, we can't go in there. He's good, he's good, yeah. All right, we just got home, took a shower, cleaned up, but that was one of the most successful catfishing days I've been on. Uh, that was six catfish between all of us, four for me, two for him. And also, uh, we had a couple get off the hooks. So we probably hooked over like 10 catfish, big catfish one of the busiest days of catfishing. And we left at like seven o'clock. We were there from basically 4.45 until seven. And we got all those bites. Thanks to DNS for the uh, bait. They gave me like a, basically a, uh, like a bag of like dead suckers. And that was great, great bait, but very nice fishing day. I think that's gonna be one of the last, if not the last, probably not the last, but one of the last catfishing days of this year for me on Lake Mendota as the water temperature is quickly cooling and they will no longer be available offshore. You can probably get them ice fishing, but I haven't really done that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button and look at the uh, lower left corner for more Lake Mendota fishing videos over there. And yeah, thanks to Devin for joining me on this adventure. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I will see you guys next time.